They had a back scratcher in it somewhere. They call me Squirrel. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel, and I'm back with part two of the best of Trigger. So on Monday, if you folks didn't notice, there was a little piece of that video missing. They blocked the video. I asked for a release. It got shot down. I realized it was like a 43-second piece that was blocking it. The rest of it was just copyright claiming it and taking the money, which whatever. That happens in all my videos. I at least wanted to get it put out. So I just trimmed off that 43 seconds. So the, it was like the class reunion piece or whatever and still put the video out. And uh, it still did really well. So apparently nobody was that upset that it was cut out. So that's good. We'll see what I have to cut out of this one, if anything, or all of it. Only Fools and Horses is very hard to get through. But Eddie uh, sent me over one and two. Uh, Eddie Glass uh, asked me to do this one next. Uh, well, asked me to do both of them. And I'm going to do this one next. Uh, and then he followed up, he doubled down and sent me another uh, couple of emails. And those are two other pieces that he had sent me that are not only Fools and Horses. I'm not going to tell you what they are because they're high blockage value videos and they may get blocked. So we'll wait and see. But who knows? Of the three videos I'm recording tonight, they all have high blockage value. I wonder how many am I going to make it? Hopefully all three. We'll see. Uh, Eddie's testing me. You testing me, Eddie. I'm only kidding. Eddie's a great friend of the channel. He's always, always done good by me. So appreciate it, man. Um, that's, I don't know. I don't know what else I got. I guess that's it. Let's get into it, right? Let's get into it. Best to trigger part to only fools and horses. We don't need to sit here and keep yapping around. You know, you guys, uh, you know, welcome. It's good to have you back, right? I mean, here we are again. We're all hanging out together. That's all we need to do. Just say hi. I love you guys. You're awesome. Here we go. Let's do this. It's time for trig. Right now, that's it. Hold on your left. Hold on, on your left. 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 Right hand down. Right hand down. Hold on your left, Dave. Hold on your left. Will you shut up? No. Hey, <laughs> look. You look at your the wrong angle, aren't you? Now pull it out and straighten it up. Bloody hell, Rodney. They reverse vasectomies quicker than this. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Hold on your left, Dave. If you don't get it in this time, I'm going to back it in myself. Oi, who's running his firm now? Oh, he's got company. you puzzled as well, has it? <laughs> oh, it's one of the little three-wheeled dinghies. I didn't realize that's what it was until I saw this view. Got a tuk tuk. I think it's a tuk tuk. I think. Well, amazing races. Paying off in spades right now. At last. You can't park there, Dave. <laughs> you park too close to a council owned installation. <laughs> it's part of my duties as an environmental hygienist to advise you of the law. What's in that thing? Freezing salt. There's people <laughs> like me at the sharp end who have to spread that salt on the roads in icy conditions. It's like springtime. What icy conditions? <laughs> I have to attend lectures on modern climactic change. What with global warming and Al Pacino. <laughs> El Nino. It was like El Nino, that's what it was. Not Al Pacino, El Nino. Boy, it's been 21 years since El Nino was a big bunch of horse shit in the news. Um... I mean, that was all over the news, man. That was a weird, weird weather system. I think it's come back like five times since then, maybe. Um, real quick, uh, I mean, you know, he's kind of, you know, if you guys notice, he's talking about these don't stop oil people before they were even around. Mm, the premonition. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you just don't know what's going to happen next. <clears throat> Trigger, Rodney and I are going to get a bite to eat. If I buy you two pints of bitter and a cheese roll, will you turn a blind eye on You trying to bribe me? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, then. Good. Come on, let's go. Is it Dave or Rodney? God, I'm freaking confused. Uh. Do you find your way out of the maze all right, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, we're still in it. No, I'm still in there, tree. <laughs> I couldn't find my way out of there once. You couldn't find your way in there once. <laughs> I was with this bird. We had a right row. She wanted to go to the left, and I wanted to go to the right. No, I tell a lie. She wanted to go to the right, and I wanted to go to Trigger. the left. <laughs> Me and Cassandra are intelligent people, right? We do not have rows about which is the quickest way out of a maze. 
I feel so depressing on my life. It's all right, all right. Now, come on, Ronnie, don't be like that. No, I just want to be left on me. No, no, Ronnie, sit down, sit down. That's the worst thing you can do. Moments like this, you need people around you. Well, I just say stupid things about lust and mazes. Never give up on people, Rodney. I know sometimes they don't seem to understand, but when you're in trouble and you cry out for help, that's when it's important. I mean, you take, well, Trigger's cousin Cyril. Now, he had what? Well, he owed 500 quid or something on his mortgage, didn't he, Trigger? Yeah. He was going to be thrown out on the street the following day. He was very worried about it. What happened then, Trigger? He drove out the beachy head. He parked about five foot from the edge of the cliff. No. What? What, he was going to drive off it? Yeah. He just sat there for two hours, his head resting on a steering wheel. People tried to talk him out of it, but he was too depressed to listen. And this is the thing, Rodney, this is what I mean about people. You see, cos those people there, they had a whip round and they got him his 500 quid. Mm. Who rode the whip round? All the passengers on his bus. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, Dill. Oh, hello, Tree. Come in. Just go and jolly Raquel up. Raquel, will you hurry up? I'll have to have another shave in a minute. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> so I'm guessing his name's Rodney. He's the only one that calls him Dave, right? Is that where we're at? I think that's where we're at now. Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, Trigger. <laughs> Look at that home stereo. <laughs> Top of the line in 2000. So, um, what are you doing here, Trick? Well, Dill said he'd give me a lift to the pub. Oh, all right. But you live closer to the pub than us. <laughs> I know. In fact, you have to walk past the pub to get to this. <laughs> yeah, but Dill said he'd give me a lift. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Am I the only one who's getting semi-nervous that he's going to fall asleep with a cigarette in his hand and start a fire? Because I really kind of am. <laughs> you put a bit of music on, Dave. <laughs> yes. Mozart, Symphony Number no. 38 in D major. I find it helps me unwind, you know. Eases my executive stress. And there are no words to this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no words, Trick. What no. the lyrics, baby? Sort of instrumental. <clears throat> Raquel, I'm giving you two minutes. I'm going on my own. God. What's this? It's Mozart's Symphony Number no. 38 in D major. <laughs> it's a karaoke version. Right. <laughs> so what exactly is the award for? For saving the council money. I am to mention to her one day that I've had the same broom for the last 20 years. Oh, the broom. She was very impressed and said, have a medal. This old broom has had 17 new heads and 14 new handles in its time. <laughs> it's like 14 different brooms, really, let's be honest. <laughs> How the hell can it be the same bloody broom? Then? Well, here's a picture of it. What more proof do you need? <laughs> I'm going to have to see a better picture of that broom to see if that's really the same broom. Hmm. Who knows? Uh, that was good. That was good. Um, the, the, the Mozart thing, it, that, that, that had me laughing. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, this, this show is great. It's, it's a great show. Uh, Trigger was obviously one of the, the, the you know, the, the great mysterious kind of, not, not, I don't want to say dumbass, but just like simple, simple and understood things in his own simple way, perhaps. Um, Great little, uh, great little bit though this whole show. So glad to be able to at least react to some pieces of it over here on the main channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it got through so you can see it. Now I'm going to try to do two more things that are potentially going to be blocked, and we'll see what makes it through for tomorrow and Friday, and and well, what doesn't.
You guys have a great day, all right? You take care of yourselves. It's great to be here, and thank you for being here with me. I'll catch you real soon. Scroll out.